Hello and welcome to St Mary Barnes. I'm Reverend James Hutchings and first of all we've now got our details of our Christmas services and activities up on our website so do have a look at those if you haven't all ready and in particular for a number of our services in church they are being ticketed so if you want to be guaranteed of a place at those services you need to go to www.ticketsource.co.uk slash St Mary Barnes and you can book up the tickets uh, all free of charge for those um, services there. Uh, now this is a week where many of us are still struggling with the effects of coronavirus physically and uh, health-wise and uh, economically um, but also we have haven't we had that great news about the imminent uh, rollout of the vaccine um, and um, that sense of good news after a long period of bad news is something that relates very closely to the experience of the, uh, particularly the first reading that we have this coming Sunday uh, at St Mary's. We've had to wait 10 months or so, haven't we, for this vaccine? Well, the people who the prophet Isaiah was writing to had had to wait something like 160 years uh, since the end of chapter 39 in Isaiah before the start of chapter 40 in Isaiah. Um, and it's those wonderful words which will be uh, familiar to many from, the, um, from Handel's Messiah. Uh, and it starts, Comfort, O oh, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term. Her penalty is paid. She has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain shall be made and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places are plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. They're wonderful words and they were great words of forgiveness and of justness, justice to the people of Isaiah's time as they had faced the terrible experience of exile uh, and in Babylon. And so uh, we may relate to those words similarly today. But they're not a nice, easy, straightforward message because forgiveness comes after a really searing experience of, uh, of the exile and the need to recognise where they had gone wrong as a people. And it's similar in our gospel reading as well. Uh, for those who can, turned out uh, to see John the Baptist. Um, he was perhaps a bit like a, a modern day eco-warrior, um, certainly challenging and wild in his appearance. And so some of the words from the start of the gospel um, about how he appeared. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. So he was not an easy person uh, to turn to. Um, and he was someone who challenged the people to change their ways, just as uh, you and I need to be challenged about changing our ways after the pandemic and not slipping back into old bad habits. Crucially, he also paves the way for Jesus coming. He doesn't seek to build up his own uh, following and personality, although people were flocking to him, he points the way to Jesus. So that reading concludes with him saying, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptised you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. So this Sunday is uh, a time when we're able to come back into church, which we're really pleased about. So we'll be continuing with our usual pattern of services uh, and also uh, recording uh, our main service on at 10 o'clock on Sunday as well. Uh, something different as well is we'll be welcoming Martin Calderbank, uh, who is known to a number of you, who did his placement for ministry training here at St Mary's. He has recently been ordained as a priest. He's uh, uh, placed at uh, St Michael Barnes. Uh, so we see quite a bit of him anyway uh, through that link as part of the team ministry, but he's going to be presiding for the first time at communion at the 10 o'clock parish Eucharist. So we very much welcome Martin. It's really good to be joined by him. Um, and um, I'm going to conclude in a moment with the words of this Sunday's collect, but I pray that you may have um, a, a 
good weekend and a, a good week ahead and that we may be able to balance the hope that we've had um, uh, of the vaccine uh, and the hope that we have looking forward to Christmas with all of the uh, struggles and realities that many of us are facing at this time. Uh, so we come to the words of the um, collect for this Sunday. O Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us and with great might succour us that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory now and forever. Amen. God bless you.